Okay, we're going to make a quick tutorial on how to get a head into ARBS. All right, this mod, but we'll have, I will have a link somewhere eventually to this rig. So this is just the head rig in ARBS. And what you're going to want to do, I'm not going to be able to teach you all Blender, so you're going to have to know at least enough to get yourself a head and size it and lock in your transform so that it is... Control A is one of the ways to lock in your transforms so that it is the right size um, to the rig. Then what you're going to do is select your mesh and control click your armature and control P with automatic weights or actually you can play around with this but what's going to happen is you're going to rig it to that and when you've done that if everything worked good you're going to go into here and um, let me see. I already did this, so if you were to go to the armature and pose it, which I can never seem to click on the right thing, pose. Um, let me see. I like the layout version because I can see it better. What you want is for this bone to move the entire head without any deformation. So if it's rigged properly, everything will move with that bone. That's called bone underscore one. And that's what's going to happen. And if you do that all correctly, then what you're going to want to do now is go to File, Export, FBX. And this is where you're going to have to be really careful. Um, you can drop it right into the assets of a Unity project, and I'll show you also how to set that up. But what we're going to do is, yeah, I am going to do that. I already have one called Moondrop. I'm going to actually call this Human Head 4. No, let's call it 5. Okay, I think I'm up to 5. So you have 6 or 7 Human Head slots. And so long as you name it this, it'll be able to replace the Human Heads in there without any problem. Number one thing you got to do because Blender's dumb in FBX export and has these stupid leaf bones. I think you can get away with it sometimes, but I would avoid it if you can. So go under armature and remove add leaf bones unless you can get your Blender to default not to do that, which if you can, let me know because I can never seem to do that. This is Blender 291 and supposedly around that version they had options to be able to save that. Once you're done in Blender, then you're going to come over to Unity, and it's going to have to be a Unity project. Hey, we'll have to show you how to set that up. Um, it's going to be a 2019.2.6. Very important that it's 2019.2.6-ish version. So, 2019.2.6, and I will have to give you this special um, C-sharp script that will build your asset bundle. But that's another step. So then what you're going to do is when you go into Assets, and if you saved your FBX into Assets, it should automatically bring in a new one named whatever you called it. So I called that one Humanoid Head, and there it is. So here's my Humanoid Head that just came in, and it looks good except for the material is looking horrible. Um, other things to check, very important, is check on rig. Make sure it has at least a generic rig, very important. Um, you probably don't need to do the rewrite enabled, but sometimes you do, so check that, might as well. And then in your materials, you're going to want to override the material. Now, to bring the material in, you're going to want to bring in the texture. So, for instance, let me see. I have not brought in Moondrop's texture here yet, so I need to find my texture. <sighs> Where was my texture? Under Models, Moondrop, and I have my main texture here. And I'm going to bring it in. And you want to create a new material. Actually, this is the material that is there, so it found it and sort of looks right. looks a little dark to me. All right, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to name the asset bundle. I've been naming it head. It could be named 
I think you want to name it head just because I've been naming it head. <laughs> and that's the only way that the whole thing's going to work as a mod. So I named it head and you're also going to want this material to go in as head. So there you have the texture and that. And that should do that. Then if you do everything else properly, you're going to build asset bundles. Okay. And it should, it takes a little bit here. Make sure, sometimes it crashes if you have already a head asset bundle in the asset bundle directory. So you're gonna to wanna to remove that. Now, after that's done, you can, okay, it's almost done. You can right click on this and show it in Explorer. It's gonna go into this asset bundles directory. And inside here, you now have this head. All right, and I have a bunch of stuff in there besides just the moon drop, but in this head, you're going to take and look for the streaming assets of the Steam Apps Common Animal Revolt Battle Simulator Data Streaming Assets. Okay, this is where you're gonna drop your head in. So what I always do is I just have both of these up at the same time and I just drag and drop and say move because that way it'll be ready for the next time you wanna rebuild because you don't want head to be in here because my script is dumb and it crashes if it's, there's already one in there. Maybe I can fix that eventually. So now that you have head in here and we can, um, the only other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna drag in an assembly C sharp that I have already made for you. Um, you can edit that with DN spy, but that's for a more advanced modding tutorial. So if you just use what I give you, then you will be able to make your own head and drop it in. And that's what the object of this tutorial is going to be. So let me see if it worked. Okay, I'm gonna to try to be as thorough as I can. Uh, I gotta go back here and tell you how to set up the asset bundle creator script and make sure you have all your directories in your, again, it's Unity 2019.2.6 is what you're gonna to wanna to get. And you're going to create a editor folder under your project and you're going to just drop in this create asset bundles.cs script that I'm going to provide a, I'm just gonna put all this in the Discord. It's easiest, easiest for me just to do that. So I'm just gonna create a new channel in Discord and throw these things in. Um, that's gonna be that. The Blender file for the skeleton. And what else do you need? Um, We'll talk about the skin thing later if we have to. That's how I have to do um, the full body one right now, which hopefully I won't have to do that in the future. What else do you need? So you oh, create a directory called asset bundles and that's where the head is going to get dropped in there as well. So you're gonna have a folder called editor that you're gonna make, put in the create that and an asset bundles. Those are the two things you're gonna need to create your asset bundle, which will be under assets. And if everything went well, it will be build assets. So, I was hoping to get away with just using the material in the FBX, but I didn't think it was working. So, same process. So for the materials, um, create a new material and make sure you add that to the head asset bundle as well um, and use that material outside the FBX. I'm not sure why. I think you may be able to use one inside the FBX, but it didn't work for me. So just go ahead and create both the texture, the model, and the material, and make sure that they're all uh, targeted to your head asset bundle. Um, the highlight will not change when you do it this way. Um, it did change if you change the shared assets file, so I may have to look at that and, and change the highlight. So this is the one, two, three, four, fifth head, and now it should be Moondrop. Yay, it's Moondrop. So there we have a quick, eh, sort of quick tutorial on how to change a head into here. So some of the other heads I've changed, uh, let me see, are this one is Freddy and Glamrock. This one is Devil from Cuphead and I believe this is actually Cuphead. Nope. Um, yeah, so I'll have to change that back. Um, it was Cuphead. <laughs> All right, so that's what I have so far. And I can give 
this as a it will also include a uh, scary teacher um, she replaces uh, modern human she replaces angry Joe so here we have scary teacher with a bat and you'll get that in the mod I will put a link